So I am talking on two parts. Diabetes reversal, diabetes remission. What's new? And uh, you know, I'm going to talk about this term remission because it had a new consensus which came out recently. Uh, then what is the Asian Indian phenotype? How is it relevant to India? And then I'm going to talk about twin cycle in diabetes. And then I'm going to talk on twin way of diabetes to reverse diabetes. And I have conflict of interest. I do some science with twin. I'm one of their scientists. And I have keen interests uh, in, in technology. So that's my duality and conflict of interest. So basically, it's all about artificial intelligence in diabetes today. Uh, what is remission? Uh, diabetes UK and ADA came out with this beautiful document on remission as a consensus paper. And they said that remission is uh, A1C less than 6.5 that spontaneously occurs or following an intervention which persists for at least three months in absence of a glucose-lowering pharmacotherapy. That was the first component. Second is A1C determined to be an unreliable marker for long-term glycemic control and fasting glucose of less than 126 or an E1C less than 6.5 calculated from CGM can be used as an alternative criteria. Uh, testing for A1C to document remission should be performed just prior to an intervention and not sooner than three months after initiation of intervention or withdrawal of a glucose lowering pharmacotherapy. And later on, one has to look at long-term maintenance of remission. At least it should be done once a year. So this is something which was defined. In Indians get diabetes at a younger age at a lower threshold of obesity. So obviously we get central obesity at a lower BMI and it's all about the this was a twin study we did almost a decade back, which clearly showed in India from eight states, more than 16,000 uh, patients, uh, first 10 patients which walked into a general practitioner's clinic, they had, uh, you know, 86% had trunkal obesity and they had a twin epidemic of blood pressure and diabetes. So obviously this is something which we recognize then. Why are we getting it as Indians? Because we are thin fat Indians. We are more fat, less muscle, sarcopenia, abdominal obesity. Is it genetic? Probably yes. We have, it's familial, we know. And is it environmental? We are sedentary, we are affluent, and we eat too much. Natural history of type 2 diabetes can be reversed. Today, it is possible to reverse it, but adherence is a challenge. So obviously, how does medicine marry technology? And this is, uh, this is Tesla, and you can see now, it's an electric car, which is automated. And you have all these twins, which are generated electronically, which is Internet of Things and machine learning. And they can actually be integrated in human body by creating digital twins. That's what twin technology does. And that's what, you know, metabolism can be corrected. Metabolism is very complex to understand. But can, and we know every human being is different. And obviously, can we use a whole body digital twin technology to help doctors to reverse diabetes and chronic diseases? So obviously, what does technology do? We have now technology available. That was our previous talk. We have CGM. So we can pick up signals from the CGM. We have happy signals. We have causal signals. And we can actually learn about every human being. Because every person, you know, I might have Mithai and Dr. Bansi, Dr. Parmesh and Dr. Takshata, everybody can have Mithai. And the way they will react, each of us will react differently. So it's all about precision nutrition, appropriate sleep, appropriate activity, precision medicine and precision insights from coach. So if you are able to do all the data points integrated from the human body, whether it's what you eat, how you eat, how much you sleep, what is your physical activity? What medicine your doctor is giving you? And what is the hand holding with the coach? All this can be integrated in a very nice way. So is there data to show that one can reverse it? Well, uh, you know, uh, Parmesh will share that a lot of people have tried it. And Twin also has tried it. He will share some original data on it. So what do they do? Number one is it measures CGM using a simple AGP device. And you can see that this is AGP of a type 2 diabetic. And then actually use technology to predict the pattern after after you see because the the prediction models through machine learning actually are able to predict the the, the what the, what the agp or the human being is likely to go up and then give advice so one is creating a virtual cgm here to pick up from the patch and and, and do the needful typically we do the same for blood pressure we can actually see the blood pressure and you can actually predict it a virtual blood pressure monitoring using the same technology most important is the food response if I have idli and sambar, you know, some people have, will have a sugar spike. Some people will may have hypoglycemia. Some people may be normal. So some may be red, some may be yellow, some may be green. So obviously it predicts the food tolerance and improves it over a period of time. Because remember, food cooked in every Indian household is different. So what food, what meal, what combination? And it will give you an advice because, you know, sambar is protein. 
uh, idli is fundamentally carbohydrates. So they will say increase sambar, decrease idli. So that's how one is able to individualize or decrease the paratha and increase the curd. So, you know, you need to see that which geography of India you're coming from and make a change. And you can actually predict all this with a very, very high accuracy. So obviously we can use technology uh, in a very, very integrated and a comprehensive manner to actually pattern recognize, uh, you know, various signals of our human body, our happiness signals. Also remember that a lot of people might do everything perfectly. They may monitor it perfectly. They may follow your advice perfectly. They may do your diet and exercise perfectly. And they'll still get all the complications. That is because there is also a component called mind health or happiness. At the end of the day, if we are not happy, and this is what a lot of uh, uh, us know, that unless and until you're not happy, you'll always get disease. So being positive, sleeping well, being happy, smiling is equally important because it's, it's very, very clear that it improves overall health. So obviously technology has come here in the far way and we are using machine learning. So what ultimately a twin like technology does, it has sensors, CGM sensors, blood pressure. It has a ketone monitoring device. It is a body scale. It has a Fitbit. Then it does all the blood work. It measures all the food, energy, activity catalogs. It maps uh, the sleep. It maps all the signals and fundamentally it has a very huge nutritional database. It's, it's also looking at gut microbiome. It's looking at all the medicine the person is consuming if somebody has type 2 diabetes. And then it is given a solution. The machine is learning. The artificial intelligence system is learning how person A and person B is different. How Sashank is different from Bansi is different from Parmesh, is different from Suresh. So obviously, if we are able to learn that and then give a solution for an individual, because every human being is different, Okay, a precise macro, micro, and a gut microbial advice, a precise sleep advice, a precise activity advice, reduce medicine under medical supervision and hand holding by a coach. And at the end of the day, being happy, that's very, very crucial because it's health and happiness which go together. So obviously, initially, of course, this, these models need a lot of uh, you know, inputs from devices. But as one recognizes it, these sensors learn and they, they become more and more predictable and you can see that number of actions come down tremendously. So obviously, what does this do? Well, they, they monitor in this technology 174 health experiences using CGM, BP monitor, ketone monitor, scale, Fitbit, Apple Watch, and a twin app. And then they integrate all this and try to give advice. So it's like a, a, it's like a solution which is provided with hand-holding. So it is precise because you know it will tell you exactly what our body is doing, what is our blood report, it is using machine learning, artificial intelligence, medicine database, and nutrition database. It is individually curated to an individual using nutrition, medicine, and lifestyle plans. And it is made by doctors. Doctors are supervising it. There are coaches which are hand-holding daily. And of course, there's an app which is useful. So we are measuring, and what we are measuring, we are acting upon. And that is what technology helps us to do that. And technology is here to stay. And technology clearly gives us an insight, gives us a method, gives us a mechanism to reverse diabetes. So remember that your patients now have an option where they can use a technological tool which will understand through sensor and member logs and blood reports. Help of a coach, you can be the guide. Each one of you all can be the guide. And then you, they can handhold a given individual to reverse diabetes.